This playthrough is rated T for teen. Good morning, viewers. It's going to be a hot day. Make sure to bring your sunscreen and sun, uh, suntan lotion and sunglasses because it's going to be bright and warm where we're going. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Follow my back here with another episode of Alundra. In the last episode, we beat the Merg's leader, Zalzane, or Zalzaz, or something like that, and now he's dead. But uh, it looks like things aren't done yet. One threat down to go, and uh, Melzaz is still around, and he's still controlling the Merg, so that's why they haven't dispersed. But at least we've gotten rid of one threat. But now Mount Torla is about to explode, or has exploded, and we got to figure out what's going on there, because we're adventurers, dang it. So anyway, let's uh, talk to Ronan here. We are experiencing the vile fruit of the gods' anger. The eruption is but a small sign of the displeasure. There will be more, many more, I am certain. Hmm. All right, creep. All right, I didn't. I, I forgot you could actually go to, uh, back down here and go to the statue of Melzaz, but uh, no, I don't need to do that. So, uh, I just want to talk to him, just just see what he says. Same with uh, the gravekeeper. Then we'll head on to Torla Mountain. We've been there before, but uh, now there's a reason to actually be there. Yeah, probably could have done all that, you know, treasure exploration and stuff like that when we got to that point, but go to the mountains it is important, trust me. To say more would put my life in danger. Your life in danger? Who's threatening you? I'll take care of them. Anyway, we could, uh, actually, I think there is a, there might be actually be a teleport that's really close by, but I want to show how we, actually, I think the teleport would take us to, uh, Maggie, Scar, whatever, but. I'll show you the actual route for those who don't remember how to get there. And just go north and back and over this way. Over the hill and through the woods to Grandmother's house we go. Or however the saying goes. Right, let's uh, break this thing. Break it, I say. Oh yeah, we're make sure to have the ice wand, otherwise you'll will not be able to progress. So, it is, it is required. But I got it when I did because it saved me some time, but because then we could just go straight to Torla Mountain, so. Yeah, remember here, like, a while back, so. And, yeah, this little spot I keep forgetting to walk by and was trying my hardest to go around it when I didn't need to. Ow. Stupid tree. I'm glad you don't take extra damage from ice. But that's, the ice one will definitely be essential, not just because it's required, but for what it can do, so. All right, make sure not to drop down there. Yeah, see those stones from before? Well, if we go from a specific direction... Yeah, All right. We now, yeah, because of the mountain exploding, they now uh, float. Yes, they do float now. They float. And inside we go to Twirl Mountain. I think the door was always there. We just couldn't access it at any point. So, yeah, we were wondering how we got there. Well, there we go. Um, now, the Ice Wand, other than being required to be here, it's actually the best weapon to use in this location because of... It does extra damage to everything in here, so. Anyway, let this thing on fire, even though you think, oh, we never have to use the fire wand. What the, the hell? What's going on here? Oh, and uh, I don't know if I ever showed off, but yeah, the way to destroy these things is to smash them with the, um... oh, it was hitting me earlier. Something was hurting me, and I don't know why. Maybe it was the heat from the, uh, um, oh, what's the word? Oh, I have to, wait. Am I just so close to the thing that hurts me? Okay. <laughs> Odd music for this place, huh? Maybe I need to. Oh, I guess I am just too close. Huh. Weird. Alright, fine. Actually, maybe I can. Okay, it's just from lighting both of them. Gotcha. Yeah, I guess I was too close to the edge to, uh, uh, I think, I think the novice charm is what I want to have here, so, uh, reduces my damage from fire, if I remember. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, I didn't expect this from the, from a fire mount, did you, or lava? Oh, and uh, there's quite a few treasures here. Really, the big ones are, other than the MacGuffins, there's, there's one Gilded Falcon and Life Vessels, among other things here, just to keep in mind. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh dang it. Yeah, well, didn't mean to fall down, but okay. Man, apparently if you get, just get too close to the edge, you take damage, apparently. Well, might as well check some things before we're all down here. Okay.
But I didn't want to go this way originally, but I have no choice. Wait for him to reform. Nope. Oh, come on. Ow. Maybe I need to do it from this side. Maybe it's easier if I don't. Nope. Nah. The only problem with it. The only problem with this is that they like they do not stay in like ice form for very long. See, so it's pretty much like immediately like it would immediately like keep moving as soon as you get it down right so and I'm uh, not doing a good start to uh, oh, I keep I keep using it too early it's because I, I feel like if I don't do it at a certain point I'm not gonna um, there's not gonna be enough room oh, dang it Ugh. I'm getting really unlucky with the uh, the ice one like when I need to use it Alright, wait for it to reset again. Ow! Wait, what? Why did that one dissipate so fast? Man, okay, fine, whatever. Man, I'm getting real. What the? What, what was that? Like, I hit him and then it just, like, reset all of a sudden. Okay, seriously, am I just. <laughs> Have to heal here pretty soon. No, I might not be. Okay, we got lucky there. Man, that shouldn't have taken me as long as it did, but it did. Because I suck sores. Okay, oh yeah, the ice one actually does. I'm trying to remember, originally, if you. Oh, by the way, the bombs don't instantly kill these guys anymore for whatever reason inside this place. Um. I think their HP right now is like 48 in here, and uh, every time you do the wand, it does like 12 damage as opposed to like four or something like that. Like if you use this on a, but the only problem is that they keep going into uh, um, in the shell every time I activate. Ah, what a way to start in the morning. Walk up some stairs, boom, fire in your face. Yeah, if you get a good charge on it, it does enough damage to uh, finish them off, but you have to get kind of, Oh, there's the, uh, there's a safe spot. Found that a little early. That'll work. My life was, uh, pretty low anyway, so good for me. Oh, yeah, I didn't technically need that, but... And obviously, the water book is going to be very useful here for those who care about that type of stuff. I guess it's good I fell down in the lava. It means I was able to access this a little sooner than I wanted, so. Oh, this, I think this is, I think this is Dungeon 20, I think? Something like that? But, anyway, just thought I'd mention it. I can't jump over there, so I want to go. Actually, which way, which way do we want to go? Uh, I don't think the, uh... You know, the music sounds, um... Uh, not, uh, sounds more Eastern, like maybe in, uh, maybe like India inspired or something like that. Oh, these are new enemies, the Firebirds. They instantly die if they get with the get hit with the ice wand. So, it's really not a good spot to like. I don't like the fact that you. I mean, okay, realistically, in lava, if you get like really close to lava, it can actually. That's how how hot it is. It'll actually affect you if you get even relatively close to it without actually getting touching it, you'll start you know, your flesh or whatever will start falling off or whatever, but can you jump on that? Oh, that's how you stop it, huh? There you go. You just you just stomp it on the ground. Oh it uh Unledger automatically does that by the way, when you jump on it the first time he'll automatically jump on it multiple times after that to turn it off. Now it's in here. An herb. Uh, let's see. Let's see what uh, where this takes us. Where are we? 
be here somewhere. Yeah, let's see what that says, since I can get back up. Danger. Lava is very hot. Idiots only passed this point. Well, I take that challenge and raise it, sir. I am not an idiot. I am a moron. That's different. Uh, I know it's gonna be. I know it's gonna be done, but I'm gonna see what's inside this thing. Probably nothing. Oh, a life vessel. Well, that makes up for it. And of course, the healing you get from that immediately gets gotten rid of because you get hit the lava. But yeah, that's 40. Was it 42 now? So, on our way. On our way. Oh, that's where we were at earlier at the beginning of the map. Is right this way. Okay. Do we want to go there first? I guess. Well, we can always. If I fail to jump, I can always. I'll have to make my way back this way anyway. So, let's try it. Let's see if we can make it back to the entrance. And actually make this jump this time instead of getting um, hit by the fireballs or whatever. of existence. But yeah, the music sounds like it may be like Indian in nature, like India. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not a... Whoa! Ah, nuts. But I like it. I like the, I like the beat. I like how there's a different, just different songs. Like just different types of music throughout the whole game. You know, gives it a bit of a... Ow! Oh, come on, man. Oh, come on! Good thing I'm wearing the charm, so I'm only taking one damage per hit, but still. I mean, I like it. I'm sorry, I don't like it. I'll just be quick about it. Oh, come on, I jumped. But it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't let me jump on it for some reason when I, when I was in the corner. There we go. More, more. More macabre dance to the fire fairies. Take that. Yeah, I forgot how much life the fire. I think the fire um, bird or whatever has a uh, 36 HP. But yeah, the um, the ice wand does just enough damage to one shot the creature if you hit him with uh, the ice wand. Or yeah. not sure with this with fictional creatures, you know. Oh. Sometimes you just gotta take that chance. Oh, there's a... Can I make that? Yes, I can. Do I don't want to, though? No. Well, I mean, Wonder Essence is good, I just don't need it. But thanks for playing. Well, now you know what's up. No, I made it. I actually made that. Oh, but I... The door is not open. Do I need to take out both birds? Maybe. Well, let's see. I don't see any switches in here. Where is the, where is, I was like, where is that dang bird? Follow that bird. Did that do it? <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, it did, because I heard the... Where is something in the background? <coughs> yeah, one of the few rooms. I wish it was a bit more consistent with, like, you know, when do you need to destroy everything in a room and not destroy everything in a room, but... Yeah, it's not that bad of a deal. Like I said, one shot, you can one shot them, so. But yeah, I think I forgot to mention that you can, like, uh, I think I did, actually, I think I did do that in an early episode where you can um, freeze these things and then destroy them if you want to, although I think I need to have it. <coughs> yeah, I can't even get up there without. So I need to move one, actually. 
that push into the actual hole? Yep. Okay, that doesn't, because I can't really jump it up there. Oops. I do need, actually, do I need that to be there? I don't think I do, actually. So I could probably just bang and angle these into a, let's see. Yeah, I know. This one's not good. Whoops. Yeah, I don't actually want to destroy him. At least if I'm doing this right. Oh, I, can't, oh, I was about to say I can't push it? Although I guess I didn't need to. Oh good, another timing puzzle. Great. And of course I uh, hit it too soon. Wait, what? Really? Huh. Okay, whatever. Wait. Um, oh. Oh. Huh. I have to go up this time. Hmm. Okay, that's gonna make it a bit tougher. Yeah, I'm not a. Yep. Try it again. Man, I am not getting. I think I'm just supposed to go back and forth between those two to get them get the up there, but that's going to make it a, a bit difficult. Oh. It got back up. Okay, seriously, it randomly hurts me when I'm not even on the, the dang thing. Right, come back down. I hate that. I. I just hate the like the arc on the the ice one, you know. I mean, I know why it does that. I just don't like it. Ah oh, man, too high, too high. It's gonna take me a hot minute to get through. And then, of course, too high once again. I end up having to heal at some point. All right, second, but. That's not what I wanted to do, actually. Oops, nope, didn't want to do that either. Oh, come on, that was not that high. The perspective in this game is so hard to, like, sometimes, like, finagle, where, you, you know, you think you can make it, and then when you actually get to that point, you're like, oh, I can't make that jump because of whatever. You know? Like, I feel like, oh, that's an easy jump to make, and then I'm like, nah, I can't actually make that jump. Yeah, see, like, that looks like I should hit it, and then it's like, nope, sorry, you can't hit it, so. Sometimes I'm a little salty when it comes to stuff like that, like, when you think it's obvious, and then it's not. Oops. Wait, why was I stuck there for a second? That was weird. Huh. Sorry, I'm trying to... Come on, that is high enough. I can jump that high. Come on. Oh, ugh, dang it. Yes, I might have to. I might have to do like a fast forward because it's taking me too long to like get through this. I may uh may give it a few more tries, and if it if I can't get it all, uh, just skip to when I actually do. That, God, that is, that is, I, I can jump that. Yeah, you can tell I'm getting, I'm getting a, a wee, a wee bit assault, assaulty Sandra over here. Ah, oh, I didn't actually mean to fall off, so. Ugh, oh boy, this is, it's just fun. It's fun timing things like this. Not really. Yeah, see, once again, I feel like I should be, be able to make that jump, but, you know, the game's like, no, no, you can't. Oh, that... And why is, yeah, why is it like... Um, I know why, because of the way it hits, but still, it's weird when you... You're like, wait a minute, why is that disappearing as fast as, like, the previous one? 
maybe it's based off their um, initial like um, um, closeness to the lava. I don't know. Maybe actually, maybe I need to charge it. Maybe that's a. Uh, maybe that'll make it last longer. I doubt it, but nope. No point. Okay, fine. Nope, I got lucky. Ah, man. Uh, nope, that's not high. That, that's too high. Hit the... I was like, hit the thing. Jeez. Oh, that... Is... Oh, I hate that. I really do. And the fact that because it's so time sensitive, you're just like, ah, no, 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 you know, I'm, you know, and then you have to rush it. So, okay, one more time, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut to when I actually, or do like a, cut to when I actually do a successful like run of this, because this is taking me way too long for what it is. So, I mean, and by one more, I mean one more where I actually get make a, like some progress. Wow, that's weird. Or I'm actually like, oh, I can actually do something. Okay, why is it faster on other times and then slower on others? Like, I, I don't get. Is it because I didn't hit the um, the perfect shot or whatever? Like, oh, you're not perfect, so um, maybe it's too. Like, it's like, oh, this isn't really the perfect setup. You're not gonna get the puzzle easily, so let's reset it faster or something like that. I guess. Okay, I'm just gonna cut to when I get a successful jump. This is ridiculous. So I'll see y'all in a second. There we go. Jiminy Christmas. Actually, it didn't take me that long. It took me like a minute or two, but still. That was still annoying as all heck. Ugh. Yeesh. Man, I like this game, but man, there's just some puzzles that are just obnoxious. Should I? Well, I'm not dying, so I don't have to worry about magic, but I probably will use my magic at some point just to heal myself or a bunch of herbs. Uh, okay. I need to light all these, obviously, but... Oops. Um, but how many do I need to light? That's the thing. And actually, how long do they last? Is it permanent or do they wear out after a while? It doesn't look like it's going out. Although, like, hmm. well, let's start lighting these and see what happens. Oops. Well, I'm taking so much damage at this point, it's just like, whatever, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just I'm just taking the damage, whatever. Oh, and I guess there's a time limit. I think, because it's beeping. Oh, I'm dying. Right. Um. Yeah, I better heal myself. No one wants to. No one wants to hear the. Uh, um. I wonder if I need this rock to get back on when I. Um, let's see what happens if I get rid of. I was like, it was making noise. I'm like, oh, right, because I'm... Should that, uh... I can't jump it. Okay. Maybe it's still on top of it or something. Do I need to put out all the lights again, or fires again to... Maybe. Seems a bit silly. You think just putting out one of those would uh, um, do that, but whatever. Another. Right, come on, come on, Firebird. Actually, I don't even know if I need to actually finish you off or not. But 
I may have to. I wonder if that one room I decided to, to decide to hold off on. I wonder if that's where the gilded falcon in this place is. I'm gonna have to go back, depending on what happens, and see if that's it. Hey, put the hey. Okay. Yeah, because I never, uh, I never finished that one area um, that I was in. So, because there was that one area back there, but I feel like I'm going way too far out of the way to um, into the dungeon. I feel like I'm missing it back there. Like maybe it was the falcon. I may have to uh, go back there off screen and uh, or go to an old save because I don't know if I'll be able to get beat the dungeon by the time I. How about, can I jump this? Nope. Okay. Maybe I have to jump to all this. Nope, I guess I have to jump all the high rocks here. There we go. Right. I might as well um, cut the grass to see if, uh, see if any rubies come out. I mean, uh, um, Gilder or a uh, Life Vessel. Yeah, I feel like I'm way too far away from that one thing, so you'll have to see if maybe there was a... Because usually the Gilded Falcons usually have to go out of your... kind of go out of your way to find them, so... Although I say that, and then there'll be like one in the next room or something. Oh, a key. Where was the... I don't remember a place where... I'm trying to remember where there was a place where there was a locked door. There probably was, I'm just... misremembering. Ah, a new item. The charm boots. Um, I think those, if I recall, they either severely reduce or um, I don't know if it completely uh, prevents damage from fire. Okay, it does. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was completely. Although I was already doing one bit of damage, but yeah, with the charm boots, we can now lock on lava. So now we can go into that one area that looked like there was any good spots. So without taking damage, of course. So. <clears throat> Actually, probably be a good time to stop, but, uh, um, yeah, actually, that is a really good place to stop. Yeah, I'll be a bit early, but, eh, what can I do? So, I'll probably leave in me trying to make that jump off screen just to kind of keep the time. It's only like a minute or two, but still. So, all right. Well, it's like this, uh, Torla's Mountain is as fiery as it comes. And with our Ice Wand of, uh, of Doom, I don't know why I keep saying Doom on everything, we'll get through it just fine. But what awaits us at the end? A bigger firebird? A bigger mountain? More MacGuffins? Find out next time in the next episode of Alundra. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.